Well, the uh, never-ending EFI removal project continues. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't do this for a living because uh, if I was doing this hourly rate, I'd be broke. I, uh, <laughs> life keeps getting in the way, boys, but uh, out here to plug away for another hour or two. I'm real close. I uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to pull the pretty much the entire interior out of this stupid thing because the chassis electrical, uh, of which I need nothing heading in that direction, it's not connectors. So I have to pull it all or I got to start cutting stuff and that's a nightmare. So almost done getting that damn uh, wiring harness out and then honestly I should be done. Uh, I got to pull the O2 sensor and the speed sensor. I need to get my damn trailer back and my uh, driveway empty. So let's get her done. Well, once again, one of the nice things with uh, taking this out of a car that I don't care about at all is I don't have to care about the interior. Cause like I said, you got to strip a hell of a lot out of this stupid thing to uh, get in there. But I got this last panel off and a uh, couple more wire zippy ties there. I got a pull back and uh, looks like these were all butchered anyways but he had some aftermarket tail lights on the thing or maybe it's because he chopped the roof but uh either way onwards and upwards oh yeah like this eh safety first there's a seat belt mount she's looking good in pristine shape here look at us all learning things here the uh i guess we just learned that uh side cutters carpet very very nicely good to know and then remember that for next time better than a knife well not really a problem I'm used to having if you know what I'm saying the uh, stuff won't fit through the small hole got a little too much girth so I'm uh, gonna pull these main fuses off of here and then hopefully I will be able to uh, Jim jammy this big black bastard through that little tiny hole in the firewall I got the main pieces through, and now I'm just working on dragging the rest of this stuff through here. This is where it'd be uh, nicer to have a hand. Somebody to feed me some wire, but hey. Work with what you got, right? Winning. Another two feet. And the nice thing about doing this, it keeps getting smaller as you pull stuff through. The old pile keeps getting bigger. Okay, on to the driver's side to do the same thing. And I see you guys asking all the time about what seats you can put in a Pathfinder because the stock ones suck. Um, there's not that many aftermarket options. Why? Because this stupid front rail, you can see the one foot hangs over. The other side sits on top and it's higher. So it's a real dumb design. This side is a different height than that side. So there's not that much aftermarket for it. And when you buy other seats, you have to end up doing a bunch of fabricating to uh, make them work. I've got a Toyota Supra seats in the Pathmaker. Um, I'm not keeping these seats. I don't care about these seats, but uh, just figured I'd mention because I hear it all the time. Well, boys, I think we might've won. Look at this rat's nest. Here's the driver's side all the way down. Of course, it goes up and behind this uh, piece on the steering. Passenger side's over there. I'm uh, thinking I might even just cut this bar out of there so I don't have to uh, mess with it because it's uh, time to get the last of this harness out and see if I forgot anything. But, well, hot. But uh, we win. Look at the size of that wiring harness. That's insane. That's like everything in the entire truck. That's a real big main harness. As you can see, I did label a few things just to make it easier when I lay it back out. I gotta stretch this damn thing through my rig now. So, all because I mostly need that and injectors. But, uh, winning. It's gonna need its own tote just for the freaking wiring harness because it's so big. But uh, now just a couple more things. Speed sensor, O2 sensor, and uh, then just double check I got everything and I'm done my EFI pulling it off. So 
Only took me how many goddamn days? No idea. But, uh, winning. Time for some lunch. So, last couple things I gotta pull off here. Um, I uh, pulled the distributor. Not 100% sure if I need that distributor or if I can use my old one, but I do need this little spacer um, to space this one up. I guess that answers my question right there, whether I need that one. So I'll probably use the other distributor. Uh, the other thing I'm pulling off is the uh, valve covers because they've got a couple different PCV valve connections that the uh, VG30E doesn't have. So gotta pull those. And then last thing under this hood here is gonna be the throttle cable. Um, and then I gotta climb underneath and take off the sensors off the trans and the O2 sensor. I sprayed them down a little while ago, so fingers crossed uh, those ones are gonna come out because none of those ones are very easy to take off. Guys, I think I got her all. I'm uh, gonna go back pick up all the bolts off the ground and whatnot, uh, throw them in a bucket because you can never have too many metric bolts. But I think I've got everything I need off of here. Uh, I was just climbing underneath there, took the speedo sensor and the wire that came up here for all the tranny stuff. But I think that's everything I need. Uh, maybe I'll put it down on a list, put it in the uh, comments of the video for you guys the description uh, if you're looking for a list of the stuff you got to take off but it wasn't that bad a couple hours worth of work probably four hours and a bunch of smash knuckles but um on the bright side now i can get rid of this damn thing and pull the tires off pull the rear axle out of it get it to the wreckers and then hopefully huge pain in the ass but it's 30 40 horsepower which uh you can never complain about for a couple hours work so Right on, stay tuned for more action. And the other thing, good thing about killing this cheap finder, time to buy a new cheap finder. Cause uh, that was fun, but I think I can do a lot better. I wanna do some rock crawling. Uh, this thing, it didn't work out that good. I apologize for everyone who's waiting for me to do some kick-ass jumps. I, uh, I let myself down as well. So hopefully I can get another cheap finder, a couple hundred bucks and we'll, uh, See you again about doing some rock crawling in it this time instead of just jumping around a uh, rock quarry. So, cheers. Video clips of uh, the cheap finder because we're heading to the scrapyard. They're going to uh, grab it off of this thing probably with a uh, forklift, something like that, and take her to the crusher. So, she gone. But uh, I got all the parts I needed. Onwards and upwards. Get this damn thing out of my driveway. Pulled that thing off of there and I got 90 bucks cash from the scrap. Should have pulled the H233B uh, out of it, but the drums were super rusty and I was just not feeling like doing it. So done and done. 90 bucks in my pocket goes towards the uh, next cheap finder rig. So I just got to uh, throw my chains in my trailer, head home.